You murdered Kaylin Gillis. You shot at a car full of people. In New York, then it's Kevin Monaghan, convicted of murder for fatally shooting 20-year-old Kaylin Gillis, whose car pulled into the wrong driveway. Monaghan is getting sentenced. You shot at a car full of people, and you didn't care what would happen, and you repeatedly lied about it. You deserve to spend the maximum time in prison avail allowable under our law. So as to the conviction of murder in the second degree, I sentence you to a term of 25 years to life in prison. 25 years in prison. Judge Adam Michelini said he took into consideration that he thinks Monaghan could hurt somebody again in the future. With you, I think you really could possibly do the, th do the same thing again. It's obvious to me that you feel justified. You don't take any responsibility for the outcome of your actions. Judge Michelini also recalled what Monaghan said when he took the stand in court in his own defense. You senselessly took the life of Kaylin Gillis, and you have the gall to sit here and talk about how you plan to finish up the work on your house and race motocross in the future? You don't deserve that. All of this began around 10 p.m. on Saturday night, April 15, 2023. In Hebron, New York, which is upstate and near the border with Vermont, Kaylin Gillis and her friends were looking for a friend's house. After the fatal shooting, this was one of the first stories from NBC News. Lost in rural upstate New York, 20-year-old Kaylin Gillis was shot and killed Saturday night when the SUV she was in accidentally pulled into the wrong driveway. It happened in remote Washington County when the sheriff says Gillis and her friends, who were in two vehicles and a motorcycle, couldn't find a nearby home. As the SUV was turning around, investigators say Kevin Monahan walked out of his home and fired two shots at the vehicle. According to police, Monaghan used a 20-gauge shotgun. Gillis, who was one of four people in the last car to pull away, was struck in the neck. They turned around and were in the process of leaving when the shots were fired. The sheriff says Gillis, who was in the front passenger seat, and her three friends never got out of the car and never posed a threat to Monaghan, who's charged with murder. After the shooting, driving through the secluded town of Hebron, the group reached an area with cell phone service and called 911. There were young kids, like anywhere across this country, that were on a weekend night um, looking for a friend's house. Before EMTs could reach the 20-year-old Kaylin Gillis, she had died. When police then arrived at Kevin Monahan's home, he initially refused to surrender to police and state troopers. During the hours-long standoff, he was on the phone with a police dispatcher and attorney before eventually surrendering. According to papers filed in Washington County Court, Monahan initially claimed to police that he had been in bed since 8.30 p.m. and suggested that hunters had been responsible for the killing. After his arrest, Monaghan was briefly held at a local jail where Kaylin Gillis's father serves as a correctional officer. Monaghan pleaded not guilty to second-degree murder. Longtime neighbors told reporters that Monaghan was frequently hostile, sour, and sometimes aggressive. During the murder trial, the 66-year-old Monaghan insisted the fatal shot was an accident and that the shotgun he used was defective. He also said he believed his house was under siege by intruders and was firing a warning while his wife hid inside. At one point, though, during the trial, Monaghan tried to tell jokes to the jury. After the jury found Monaghan guilty of second-degree murder, the prosecutors and defense weighed in on the possible sentence. Here's local district attorney Christian Morris. Kevin Monaghan was merciless in his judgment to act that night. And the question here then would be, should he be shown mercy? And based on that, the answer is no. Defense attorney Arthur Frost. I don't come here to ask you for mercy. I ask you to rebuff vengeance. I ask you to do what is just. Monaghan was offered an opportunity to speak during the sentencing phase and declined. No, thank you, Your Honor. Then it was Judge Adam Michelini's turn. His tone was matter of fact and his comments were gripping. I think it's important that people know that it is not okay to shoot people and kill them who drive down your driveway. I know in the county where we live and probably other countless rural areas, it's a pretty common occurrence to drive down a wrong driveway. Uh, it's a common occurrence for somebody to come down your driveway. And there's definite choices that you get to make at this time. And the choice made in this case is absolutely not acceptable. Then I'm also guided by the uh, principle of specific deterrence. Specific deterrence is directed directly at the defendant. It's saying, 
basically you need to be prevented from doing things in the future. And Mr. Monahan, I think if you were released from prison, and you know, people who commit murder generally don't recidivate a lot. They don't commit the same crime again. It's a low rate of recidivism. But with you, I think you really could possibly do the th do the same thing again. It's obvious to me that you feel justified. You don't take any responsibility for the outcome of your actions. In killing Kaylin Gillis, you took away a friend, you took away a girlfriend, you took away a daughter, a granddaughter, and a sibling. You took away so much unrealized potential, her potential to enrich other people's lives and, contribute, and to contribute to our society. You also traumatized the young men and women who mistakenly drove up your driveway that night. You will scar them, this will scar them and traumatize them for the rest of their lives. Any remorse you have isn't for the harm you've caused. The only regret you have is that you're finally facing the consequences for your actions. You murdered Kaylin Gillis, you shot at a car full of people, and you didn't care what would happen, and you repeatedly lied about it. You deserve to spend the maximum time in prison avail allowable under our law. And I don't make this decision because it's easy. I make it because it's what's deserved. I make it because it's what's just. So as to the conviction of murder in the second degree, I sentence you to a term of 25 years to life in prison. For the, for the uh, conviction of reckless endangerment in the first degree, I'm following the law. I'm going, to, I'm going to sentence you to a concurrent two and a third to seven year period of incarceration. As to tampering with physical evidence conviction, you know, I can see why a court you know, might perhaps go along with concurrent because you received a 25 year life sentence to begin with. But there was, there was a delay, there was a lot of time you had between when the police showed up and you tampered with evidence. You had a lot of time to concoct lies, you had a lot of time to, to do things to the weapon, to, to tamper with it basically, to try and destroy evidence. And because of that time that you had to think of those things and the conscious efforts that you made to tamper with that evidence, I think it is right uh, that you receive a consecutive term of incarceration for that charge. So that's a one and a third to four years of uh, imprisonment. Mm. Altogether, between the 25-year sentence for murder, the concurrent sentence for reckless endangerment, and the additional time for tampering with physical evidence, Kevin Monaghan will be in jail for at least 26 years. That means he will likely die in jail before he is eligible for release. Family and friends of Kaylin Gillis praised the judge and the prosecutor for their handling of this case. They said Monaghan's sentence is just, even though the murder of Kaylin Gillis will never stop haunting her family and community. By the way, in New Jersey, a police officer slammed his own police chief on the hood of a cruiser after the chief arrived at a crash scene intoxicated. Chief, I'm working. I don't have time to argue about a jacket, okay? Don't you touch me. Don't you touch me. Don't you Touch me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You have a problem? What? You grab me. What? Now get out of here before you get a problem. Mm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube. One of the most popular is from Cocky Rooster who wrote, Good on the sergeant, stood up for himself and knew who was in the wrong. Indeed. I look forward to reading your comments about the maximum sentence delivered to a man who fatally killed an innocent young woman because the car she was in made a wrong turn. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.